Today I'm sharing a quick sweet potato taco meal that's gluten-free and paleo and is so quick that you can do any weeknight. The great thing about this meal is that you can use any toppings that you want to customize it and it's just something that you can make for dinner and then have leftovers the next day. Super easy peasy. And the reviews are in. Dinner's really good. So let me show you how to do it. Preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Gather your supplies and your sweet potatoes. Slice the sweet potatoes into wedges. You'll want approximately one small to medium sweet potato per person. You can peel them if you wish, but I don't bother for this dish. If you do leave the peels on, you may want to wash and scrub the potatoes first, which I had done at an earlier point. Place the wedges onto a parchment lined sheet pan for easy cleanup and drizzle with avocado oil or your oil of choice and sprinkle with sea salt. Toss to coat the wedges and spread them back out. I had to use two sheet pans, but you may only need one depending on how many potatoes you're roasting. Put the sheet pan or pans into the oven and set a timer for 35 minutes. While those are roasting, Prepare any toppings you may want to use. I sliced up some cherry tomatoes and then mixed up a sauce of some plain cashew yogurt with the juice of a lime and a pinch of sea salt. Exact measurements aren't important here. Just put as much in as you want of the lime juice and salt to taste. You can also use mayo if you don't have yogurt. Dice up some red onion if desired. And I only did a small amount because I'm the only one who likes raw onions on things. The rest of my family kind of hates it. Chop up some cilantro and dice up an avocado. You can see I'm wearing headphones as I'm doing all of this. And that's because I was listening to my yoga teacher training classes to cram for my yoga teacher exam that's coming up. But listening to something while you cook can definitely make it more enjoyable. About 10 minutes before the sweet potatoes are done, brown some ground beef in a pan. You'll want about a quarter to a third pound per person, unless you have teenage boys like me who grow like weeds and eat you out of your house and home. <laughs> like this one, look how tall he's getting. It's almost as tall as me. Once the beef is browned, add some taco seasoning of choice with a bit of water. I'm using my favorite taco seasoning, the Primal Palette Taco Seasoning, but you can use whatever you have on hand. And let that simmer as you check the potatoes in the oven. If they're soft and easily poked with a fork, they're done, so remove them from the oven. Then assemble your plates. Add several wedges of the sweet potato to a plate. Top with a big scoop or two of ground beef. And then add your toppings of choice. If you're making this all for later, I advise keeping the sauce separate from the rest until after you've reheated it all. But now you've got a tasty dinner that didn't take long and is quite filling. And there you have it. I will put the recipe below. And if you need a dessert to check out after that, try this one out. I'll see you next time.